Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand how to create a subnet. The basic concepts related to subnetting, what is meant by subnetting and why we need subnetting has already been discussed in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch, the video, watch that video and come back here. And every video on our channel is going to be part of an entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, how to create a subnet? So for that, we we will consider the previous example the discussion that we have made in our previous video so based upon that example we're going to create the subnet so the uh, let's see that example so we have seen this, this example in our previous video we are going to create a university subnet for in an university for four departments with each department having 60 systems csc ece mechanical civil this concept has already been discussed in our previous video so how this this subnet has to be created how this can be created that we will try to understand and as we are having 60 systems each in each department total of it they are going to be around 256 systems so for this we need a class C address so that class C address that we are going to consider consider for the creation of this subnet is this is the class C address it is 194.24.2.0 now as we have discussed that the entire IP address is divided into two parts one is network ID part and the other one is host ID part whenever we want to create a subnet there comes an another part called subnet number as the subnets are getting created we are going we are going to have an another option called subnet number so the entire ip address is now broadly divided into three parts it is network number which is same as that of the uh, concept that we have discussed in our uh, previous videos and this is a subnet number this is the new number that is going to be that we are going to uh, use from now on uh, whenever the subnetting is used and this subnet number uh, the number of bits that are used for this subnet number is a part of the host ID. So the bits are taken from the host and the remaining bits are uh, the bits that are used for the subnet. After that, the remaining bits are used for the host number. And how many bits are to be used for the subnet? Is there any standard? Yes, it totally depends upon the number of subnetworks that we want to create. For example, so let's try to understand this point. So, for example, if you want to create, so this net network part is same. Uh, there is no difference. This 8 bits is the host part. Within this 8 bits, we are going to create the subnet number also. For example, if you want to create a subnet of size 2, two subnets you want to create to create two subnets we need only one bit the subnet number is going to be in one bit it is zero and one okay so how how can we say that for example uh, uh, if you want to create with one bit how many possibilities are there it is zero or one it is zero or one so uh, the numbers that was that starts with zero so we're going to consider only one bit for most significant one bit for uh, the subnet number as we are trying to divide the network into two halves okay so zero is used for one network part and one is used for another network part for example if you want to create four different networks four subnets then how many bits are to be used how many bits are to be used we have to use two bits because with two bits we can get four unique numbers so what are those numbers it is 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 in our case in our example we are creating four subnets see here four subnets are getting created for that we are using these two bits these two bits are for so let's assume that these two bits are used for subnet number and the remaining six bits are used for host id in every subnet for in in every subnet we are going to have six bits six bits for host numbers okay so uh, means how many how many hosts are possible in each and every subnet it is 64 hosts 
64 IP addresses number of hosts is equal to 2 power 6 minus 2. So we have discussed this logic. Why 2 means the first address is going to be the network address and the last address is going to be the directed broadcast address. This concept we have already discussed. Let's jump and try to create the uh, uh, sub network for our requirement. So the requirement is this is the requirement. So uh, starting with this okay i have taken i have taken the first subnet this is the csc subnet it is having the subnet number of 00, zero. see here the 00, zero subnet number of 00 and these bits are going to be it is going to start from all zeros all zeros to all ones all zeros to all ones with from all zeros to all ones considering all these eight bits what are the possibilities with six bits uh, as all ones and these two are zeros try to understand that logic understanding this logic is the very important part of this entire video okay so the possibility is the range of ip addresses that are possible for this csc network is it is from 0 to 63 0 to 63 okay and this first bit 0 uh, uh, 194.24.2.0 is used for identifying this network and this 63.63 .63 is used for directed broadcasting into this network okay okay so now uh, in between 1 to 62 in between uh, the combinations that are possible with uh, six bits uh, all those combinations are going to be in between 1 to 62 these are the host numbers similarly if you consider this network the now the subnet code is 01 so once all sevens means after that what is the number that we're going to get all sevens means the number is going to be one six zeros so here it is just the order of all the binary numbers with eight possibilities eight bit possibilities but we have divided into parts based upon this subnet code very simple logic all you need to understand is the binary mathematic that is involved in binary okay and the last possibility with this zero one is it is all ones okay so now what is the binary value for this it is 127 sorry uh, it is 64 all zeros right it is 64 to 127 and in between we have 65 to 126 these are host numbers and this is for uh, broadcasting directed broadcasting and this is the network id okay similarly for mechanical if you consider the mechanical as the third department what are the possibilities again the code is 10 one zero okay so the one zero means again six zeros six zeros and six ones six ones and uh, uh, here one with uh, seven zeros this is going to be 128 this is 128 and this number it is going to be 191 what is 192 192 is going to be one one six zeros one one six zero so this network is going to start with 192 and it is going to end with 255 because it is all eight ones okay though based upon the subnet coding so uh, based upon the number of networks that are required the subnet number is dependent for example if you want to create eight networks for eight networks we, we need how many uh, bits for uh, subnetting the number of bits that are required for subnetting are three bits for 16 networks it is going to be four four bits this is how the subnetting is done and uh, now with this we have one more question okay everything is fine now now this network is constructed by the university it is a private network now i got a message from outside the network so from the outside world this is a private network right from outside world i got a message i got a message with the ip address placed uh, 194 
डॉट ओके आई राइट हियर वन नाइनटी फोर डॉट ट्वेंटी फोर डॉट टू डॉट टेन नाउ आई गॉट ए मैसेज फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड इन टू दिस नेटवर्क विद द आई पी एड्रेस वन नाइनटी फोर डॉट टू डॉट ट्वेंटी फोर डॉट टू डॉट टेन एंड इट विल गेट ट्रांसफर टू राउटर हाउ द राउटर विल डिसाइड टू विच नेटवर्क इट हैज टू बी ट्रांसमिटेड so by uh, by simple knowledge we can say that this 10 is between it, it belongs to this cse network so this will get transmitted into this network but how the router will do the math and identify the network id to which this packet has to be transmitted so that is very important right so that is done by using the concept called subnet masking in the next video we'll try to understand what is meant by subnet masking hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubt regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching